Hello and welcome into your Arkansas football recruiting report with Otis Kirk. I'm Evan Kamiko. Otis, how you doing today? You ready to talk some recruits? I am, man. Yeah. Been All crazy right. Day, but I'm ready. <laughs> well, we got seven of them today. Let's kick it off with Kobe Branham, an offensive lineman from Fort Smith. Yeah, he's going to announce his decision tomorrow morning at 1030 on Twitter. He will commit uh, to either Arkansas, SMU, Oklahoma State, Memphis, or Texas A&M. I think Arkansas is in great shape. 6'6", 320. Uh, was here this weekend. For, all of these kids were here for an official visit this weekend. So, yeah, he's, he's looking good. And uh, we'll uh, see how it turns out at 1030 in the morning. But big offensive guard. He was actually at, up here last week watching some of his teammates at a football camp. I uh, didn't participate, but yeah, he's but he's uh, he was here and enjoyed himself and big offensive lineman. And we'll leave the state for the next one. A wide receiver from Texas, Ashton Bethel Roman. What do you got on him? Well, you know his dad. His dad was a great running back. I interviewed his dad. So I mean, years ago, I don't know what that says about me, but. Ashton's a four-star with about 22 offers uh, uh, from uh, Missouri City, uh, Ridge Point in Texas. Uh, uh, Going to announce on July the 4th, probably around 4 o'clock, he said. Uh, 37 catches, 892 yards, and eight touchdowns. I actually feel pretty good about him. Uh, you know, you put him with Courtney Crutchfield and uh, C.J. Brown, you've got some good receivers out there. And Ashton is a very good-looking kid. Uh, but uh, – We'll see how this turns out on July the 4th. But, uh, yeah, that's one that uh, Arkansas is definitely, I think, in pretty good shape on. He was here this week. Well, all these kids were here. I'm not going to keep saying it. But they were all here this week. I think I've already said that twice. But, uh, yeah, official visit and enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. He, he really liked the coaching staff here. And we'll stay in Texas, a defensive um, linebacker, Xavier Atkins. Yeah, this kid committed to LSU on July the 5th, but uh, he's he's always kept his options open, especially with Arkansas. He's been here a few times. Uh, uh, good kid, going to announce his decision, final decision on September the 12th, which is his birthday, and uh, it's also the birthday of somebody else, you know. I'm a little older than him, though. <laughs> I'm not a linebacker, but uh, – but now he's going to do it on my birthday and his birthday on September the 12th. But uh, from Humble Creek, very good linebacker, man. Um, A&M, Arkansas, and LSU are the finalists there. Committed to LSU, was at Jonesboro Hodge in Louisiana until his, till his past year, and he moved over to Texas. So, you know, LSU has the home state advantage in a way. I mean, he moved to Texas, but. Uh, and he is committed there. They're tough to beat, but Arkansas has a chance for him. I'm not saying they'll get him, but I think Arkansas has some, at least some outside chance. And another guy from that Alabama area, we'll switch states, uh, DJ Barber. Yeah, man, this kid's a good linebacker. Uh, he uh, He's from Clay Chogfield, Pinson Clay Chogfield, same school that Tevis Metcalf is from. The same school at Big Shack uh, we talked about on here a couple of weeks ago. McCroy was from, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he 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 uh, just uh, has a lot of options. Had 115 tackles, had nine tackles for loss, uh, two interceptions, four, four fumble, four four fumbles, recovered four. Uh, uh, Arkansas, Auburn, and Ole Miss are the finalists for him. Uh, I think Auburn. If I had to put a favorite on there, I'd put Auburn. But, I mean, obviously it's not over with. But uh, Arkansas, Auburn, no miss are his three finalists. I, I think Auburn's in-state school there, I think they've got a pretty good shot at him. We'll see. That's why you do recruiting. It always flips around. You get somebody you don't th – they get somebody they don't think they're going to get. You get somebody that – you lose somebody you thought they had. So it gets kind of recruiting crazy game. Mm -hmm. And what about Fletcher Westfall, an offensive, another offensive lineman, this time from West Virginia? Yeah, big 6'9", 335-pound kid. Uh, Fletcher's hard to miss. Uh, he's, he's a tall kid. You know, you get, he and Kobe Branham and Big Shaq and those kids, those are what offensive linemen are supposed to look like. And, uh, you know, uh, Clemson got his first visit. If They're probably the team to beat. But, you know, you got Florida and Georgia and Arkansas try, 39 offers. Uh, one thing about Clemson, they did get the first visit, but they didn't commit there. So, you know, 
So the fact he's still taking other visits helps you. Uh, but, uh, you know, so we'll see how – there again, uh, there's no definite timetable for decision, but he's a big kid, and uh, Cody Kennedy could get him. He'd have him a prize there. That's, it's a, he, he's a legit 6'9". He's huge. Let's look at the defensive line now. Alex Foster, again, one of those other guys that you said. They've all been in town this weekend. So what did you see out of him? Well, he's – He's a player that is listed as 6'5", 250 from Greenville, Saint, Greenville, Mississippi, St. Joseph High School. He's listed as 6'5", 250 on the recruiting services. He's not 250. He's more like 275. This is a big defensive tackle. And uh, Arkansas made a very good impression on him. Um, you know, Baylor, Georgia Tech were in there also. But uh, Razorbacks made a good impression with him. Um, they may be hard to beat for him. I mean, he's a kid that Deke Adams has got pinpointed, you know, targeted for the defensive tackle spot to go with, uh, you know, Charlie Collins and, and KB Henderson. But uh, uh, but he, I just want to emphasize, this kid's a lot bigger than his profile that the recruiting service indicates. And the last guy we'll talk about today, a defensive back from Tallahassee, Florida, Ashton Hampton Otis. Yeah, he goes to Florida State University School, I believe is what you call mm -hmm. that. And, uh, you know, he's been to Clemson, he's been to Florida. In Louisville and then Arkansas, obviously. And so, you know, he's a defensive back that can really got good range. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see. Ask him where Arkansas stood. He said he didn't know. So I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, I mean, you know, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. I, he's not one that I think they will get, but he could surprise me. He's not. It, it, he's kind of one of those kids that's hard to read. There's some kids, you, you read them and you think, yeah, I know what they're going to do, but others are harder to read. And 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 also, I haven't been around him as much as I have a Kobe Brand or mm -hmm. Charlie Collins, Courtney Crutchfield, some kids like that where you've been around them. You get a pretty good feel for what they're going to do and everything else. But uh, but anyway, Arkansas got a visit out of him. They're in the top four, obviously. He visited, so we'll see where he lands. But uh, there again, not, not a definite date on that. And should be a very interesting couple of weeks to see where a lot of these recruits land. Otis, anything before we go? No, I just – Keep your eyes on Twitter tomorrow about 1030. He was going to have a press conference, and actually John and I were going to Fort Smith. <laughs> but now he's just going to announce on Twitter, so there won't be a trip to Fort Smith, but will be a story tomorrow on Kobe Branham. So, you know, keep your eye on that one. That could be the next one for the Hogs. Well, that's going to do it for your Arkansas football recruiting report. Otis, thank you so much for joining me.